Hey guys, welcome to my pinker. My name is Ingrid. Oof. Today's video, it's been on the making for a couple of weeks now, but I'm super excited that finally I get to share how I transform oats into oatmeal yogurt. This recipe, it's honestly very simple to make. However, there are lots of things that are going to prevent it from you getting the perfect consistency. Throughout this video, I'm going to explain all of the errors that are made. That way I can help you make your own at home. So if you would love to learn how to make it, thank you for watching this video. Alright, let's start by making some oat milk. You are going to need half a cup of raw oats. Do not use quick oats as the texture of your milk is going to be different. For the radio, per each half a cup of oats, you're going to add two cups of water. In this case, I'm going to be adding six cups of water. Ah, I forgot to mention, it is at room temperature. This is where you can sweeten it. Personally, I prefer to add three medial dates over adding any sugar, but it's up to you and you can add sugar or a syrup. Then we're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes. Once time is up, you just have to blend it. I blend it for about a minute in a high-speed blender. Let me show you, this is a nut milk bag. Yes, I am allergic to nuts. No, I don't use it for nuts. I use it for my oat milk or any juices. All you need to do is pour your oat milk and start straining it. You're going to realize that the oat milk is very slimy. I love that texture because it's going to help to thicken your yogurt. Be a little patient, this can take about 15 minutes, so if you want, play one of my travel vlogs. Those are gonna be very entertaining for this time. Let me grab the pot from my instant pot. I'm gonna go ahead and add four cups of oat milk. Don't add more, don't add less. This I try my best to be very careful with the measures as it's going to affect the consistency of the yogurt. You'll have some leftover milk as well as oats when you strain it. It's okay, you can save all of it. You can make oat milk with both ingredients. I like to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and this is the moment where I taste the flavor of my oat milk. If I don't like it, I add sugar or maple syrup, but since I already know I like this flavor, I'm just gonna proceed with the next step, which is to add a quarter cup of tapioca flour. Now you can taste this milk. Whichever flavor you got, that's the one your yogurt is going to have at the end of the process. Okay, hear me out. This is where you also have to be very careful. Use a whisk and whisk well your mix. Just make sure that you don't have any more tapioca starch lumps. When you mix it, you're going to realize that the consistency is still very slimy, which is ideal. Here's one of the mistakes I made earlier on this process. I went ahead and blended the tapioca flour with the oat milk and this process made it very liquid. When I tried to make yogurt with this milk, it didn't thicken. So, as old school as this sounds, the best is for you to use a whisk. That way, you're gonna have the best consistency for your yogurt. In your Instant Pot settings, go ahead and search for the boil option from the yogurt button. I like to boil my mix twice, that way I ensure that it gets to 170 Fahrenheit degrees. If your mix didn't heat up to 170, go ahead and boil it one more time. If it did, just let it cool down until it gets to 116. As you can see, now it's under 114, which means I can go ahead and add my probiotics. I'm gonna grab this little container with a bit of that yogurt mix. I'll add 2 grams of my probiotics and mix it well until I have no more lumps. Once I form a smooth paste, I will add it into the rest of my yogurt. I whisk it one more time until I have no more lumps. Once it's ready, I transfer to my instant pot again and I let it cultivate for 8 hours. The instant pot does all the work. 8 hours later and this is how my yogurt mix looks like. As you can see, the water has separated, which I honestly love to use my nut bag again. That way I can get rid of this water and keep the yogurt mixture. 
Yogurt is still not done as I need to refrigerate it, therefore I'm going to place it in this container and leave it overnight. It needs a minimum of 6 hours of refrigeration. Honestly, I left it overnight so it's been a little over 12 hours and let me show you how this looks. I'm gonna grab two containers to show you a trick. If you microwave one of them for 30 seconds, your yogurt mix is going to get thicker because of the tapioca starch that it has. However, both consistencies are great and it does taste like yogurt and it looks like yogurt. For the next part, I'm going to use the option that has been heated up in the microwave for 30 seconds. This is just because it's easier to garnish it. I'll be adding some frozen berries, homemade nut free granola. If you want the tutorial for that, let me leave it above. And finally, I'm going to drizzle some maple syrup. All right, all right, I told you this was going to be a very simple recipe. So I'm gonna taste test this one. This one is without me heating it up in the microwave. The consistency, you can see that is not as thick as the one that I show you. However, it is still delicious. So what I did to change the color is that I mixed those frozen berries with a little bit of maple syrup. When you mix it, just like that, you literally get this color. Let me test it. Hmm. It's so good. Honestly, now that you know how to make oatmeal yogurt at home, I think it's gonna be very weird to go to store bought. You end up saving a lot of money. With my recipe, you make about 20 ounces of oatmeal yogurt. And if you were to buy it at the store, you're probably paying about $4 per four ounces container. With this recipe, you make it under $3. Isn't it super cool? So I can't wait for you guys to finally be able to make it. So if you do, make sure that you tag me everywhere. And if you would love to continue watching more allergic friendly and vegan recipes, all you need to do is make sure that you subscribe to my channel, then click the red bell. Yeah, not red, but <laughs> just click the bell if you would love to continue receiving notifications every time I upload a video. Also, this rated recipe for this yogurt is going to be on my blog, so the link is right here. If you want to get more insights on how I live with food allergies and all of the food that I eat throughout the week, then make sure to follow me on Instagram as well as on TikTok. I try my best to share as much as possible so that way you know that it is possible to maintain a plant-based lifestyle with food allergies. All right, without further saying, I'm going to continue enjoying my yogurt. Love you all so much. Bye, guys. <laughs>